I'm seeing a bunch of messages all over the internet from people who bought the new DJI O3 Air unit and now they can't figure out how to get it to bind to their goggles. And no, they're not dumb. It's not just as simple as press the bind button, press the bind button, and it binds, at least not in all cases. It turns out that you've got to jump through a couple of hoops to get your goggles on the correct firmware before they will bind, and the process of doing that is not exactly straightforward. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Here's the first sort of stupidly confusing thing about the new DJI O3 Air unit. The software that we use to update firmware on our DJI goggles and, and video transmitters is called DJI Assistant, right? And there's different versions of DJI Assistant depending on what hardware you've got. And the version that we're used to using in the FPV world is the DJI Assistant 2 DJI FPV series. But the new O3 Air unit and the new Goggles 2 are managed under the DJI Assistant Consumer Drones series. Which means that, especially if you've got the, the V2 goggles, that's where the weird hoops you have to jump through to get it to bind come in. But before we do that, let me show the simple process of binding with the goggles too. First, power up your goggles too and start up the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drones series. Plug in USB and click on the goggles, which should appear there. And make sure you're on the latest firmware. Oh, it turns out that I'm not, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my firmware. Once the goggles are on the latest firmware, we're going to go into the menu. We'll go to status. And then that is where we can switch between different types of device. We can choose the DJI FPV Air Unit. Oh, 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 that's the backwards compatibility mode. Oh my God, it's here. Literally the first time I've seen this right now. Okay, well, we'll have to check that out later. That would be how you would bind to your old uh, Cadex Vista and V2 Air Units. You could choose the DJI Avada, or you could choose the DJI O3 Air Unit, and that is what we're going to choose to bind here. Next, we're going to update the firmware on the Air Unit, and you don't need to sit here and watch me do it, but I do want to point out one really amazing thing DJI has done, which is that with the O3 Air Unit, you do not need a separate battery plugged in to use the USB to update firmware or download files from the internal storage or the SD card. You simply plug it in and it works. And it's not sitting there with the battery plugged in overheating the whole freaking time you're updating the firmware. Thank you, DJI. And then to bind, we will press the bind button, which is right here between the eyes. The goggles will begin beeping. And then here on the air unit, it's a little hard to see the bind button. It is inside the unit. There is a little sideways triangle here pointing to it and a little circle here. And we'll just use a pokey thing to press the bind button there and it will bind. Now that was pretty straightforward. I'm willing to bet that most of the people who can't get it to bind are people who have the V2 goggles. That process is a little more cumbersome. So first of all, we're gonna close the consumer drones series and we are going to instead open up the DJI FPV series app. And the reason we need to do that is because I don't think that the consumer drone series app recognizes the goggles until you've got them on a certain firmware, which is only accessible from the FPV series app. Next thing you're gonna need to do is inside your goggles, you're gonna need to go into the settings and you're gonna need to go to device and you're gonna to need to go to switch to DJI FPV. I want you to notice that I have extra options here that you don't have because I'm already on this newer firmware, but you will see switch to DJI FPV as your only option. Choose that and okay. Next, we're gonna power cycle the goggles. Once the goggles have booted up into the DJI FPV drone mode, we can then plug in USB and they will appear here in the DJI Assistant app. And you might be asking at this point, why did I have to switch to the DJI FPV drone mode? I update my firmware all the time. I never go to the DJI FPV drone mode. I'm always in the uh, DJI digital FPV system mode, the DIY mode, whatever you call it, that mode where you're using your goggles with your Cadex Vistas and so forth. And it's true, you can update the goggles using this app in that mode, but something about the way that the firmware is managed means that you won't get the firmware update that you need to bind to the O3 Air unit unless you do the update here in the DJI FPV drone mode. So that's what we got to do. We'll then click on them and we will perform the firmware update. I'm not going to do that because I've already done this 
Uh, but whatever you see as the latest firmware here, that's what you need to update to in order to proceed. Before you do this, if you are at all interested in rooting the goggles and installing WTFOS and playing with that stuff, then you must root the goggles before you flash this firmware. It's possible that you're already on a firmware that won't let you root them, but once you do this, if they're not already rooted, you cannot root them. If they are rooted at the time that you do this, then when you do this, WTFOS will be removed from the goggles, but they'll still be rooted and you can still go back and reinstall it after you finish this process. And if you don't know what rooting in WTFOS is, then I've got a video I made about it and you should go check it out. It's linked down in the video description below the video. Now that we've updated this firmware version, we can go into the goggle menu and if we go to settings and then about, and then down at the bottom, we can see switch aircraft model. And there are our choices, DJI FPV, DJI digital FPV system, that's for the Vista air unit and that generation of video transmitters, DJI Avada or DJI O3 air unit. And this is why I think a lot of people are having trouble binding. They don't know that you need to switch to DJI O3 air unit in order to bind to the air unit. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just power cycle the goggles. And now everything we see is pretty much the same as if it was in the V2 goggles, pretty much. Uh, and we can go and we can bind to the O3 air unit using the bind button, the same as always. So now we're back in the DIY mode, the digital drone system mode, the mode that you use to bind to the Vista and the air unit and so forth. And if I click on the goggles, what firmware do we see? Ah, yeah. So this is firmware 0607. That was the firmware that was released when the Runcam Wasp came out. It looks like the way that it works is that the O3 air unit, the DJI FPV drone, and the Avada all use the same firmware version and updating one updates all, but the DIY mode or the digital FPV drone system mode has its own firmware version. And here's the part that's unexpected. When you update the O3 side or the Avada side or the DJI FPV drone side, it can also carry with it a firmware update for the DIY side. But when you update the DIY side, it does not update the other three. Clear as mud, right? Well, hopefully at least now you've got your air, air, air unit bound, your firmware update, and you are good to go. If you're interested in learning more about routing and WTFOS, I'm gonna put a card on screen for that. And if you're interested in hearing some things that I left out of my review of the O3 air unit, some of them because because they wouldn't fit and others because I, well, just got them wrong. I've got a card to that video here. Enjoy, I'll see you there.